one of the things that first emphasizes is not so much the winning, because winning really is a lot having to do with chance. The main thing that people get out of this is all the relationships, all the experiences, all the interactions with their teachers and, and the venue. Those are the things that are important. It's learning all the things you needed to do to try to be as successful as possible. It's not about the robot. It's about working through to solve a problem, learning how to appreciate science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. If you're one of those people that needs to go into that field, stimulate you to go in that field, and if you're not one of the ones that need to go in, at least it gives you a different appreciation. So today we're here at the State LEGO Championship. So last week there were five regional tournaments and in each of those tournaments there are roughly 30 teams. And the champion levels of each region, so maybe for instance the region I was in, there was uh, the Western Regional, we had seven, our top seven got to go to this tournament. Now, today there are 32 teams here that have qualified with an overall score. Now this is how it works. They build and design and program a robot to complete missions on a table. There's missions of different point value. They have to determine whether they want to tackle the high point value missions or a lot of small ones worth less points. But whatever they do, they have two and a half minutes to accomplish it. And what I tell the teams is that it's more important that they be consistent in their approach, that they choose tasks that their robot consistently performs in practice. What, what changes do you think you guys need to make on that? What did you see? I think that if you can just make it come back on the field. You can have a, a, a great time and, 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 and try your best to win, but at the same time, Ethel says we can do better than that. Not only can we compete, but we can do it in a way that actually helps everybody else out as well. Brings everybody up. Even if you uh, it's your first year and it's a rookie year and, and you're unsure about your robot, make them feel welcome, help them out. And uh, by, by incorporating that in, uh, the, the whole idea of gracious professionalism uh, allows, the, the, allows you, the kids, to learn about what it really means to reach out and help others in, in a way to uh, make sure that everybody does better, as opposed to just a straight competition we need to beat you. And uh, the concept's hard at first for the kids to learn about, but uh, uh, after a couple months and, and, and trying some exercises that were suggested, uh, they get the hang of it, and uh, then they just have a great time here. It's about being a team and acting like a team. They meet with engineers, with computer experts, in a 15-minute interview format. They show the judges one of their missions, and then the judges question them about their programming, their design, their performance of their robot. So we made it so the speed scales down, depending on how far it has to go. So it's not just about building robots, there's always some theme involved. And this year the theme is transportation. The kids got to pick something uh, dealing with transportation in their community, come up with a solution, and then they have to do a presentation uh, to judges about what their solution, their innovative solution was. So it's giving them tremendous teamwork skills, hands-on engineering skills, presentation skills, research skills. Uh, it's a tremendous learning experience for these children. They're learning under the guise of some skill or mission that they got to play, but they're not, you know, they'll learn about pneumatics or programming without thinking, okay, I'm going to learn about pneumatics. They're thinking, I got to play this game and in order to be successful, I got to figure this out. It's all about innovation and engineering principles at work, hands-on engineering. STEM is, uh, stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And so the idea of FIRST is not necessarily to teach STEM, but to motivate people to pay attention to, to get excited by, to deal with STEM. And we know from research studies that have been done by FIRST that children who participated in these type of robotics programs are more likely to participate in STEM-related educational and career opportunities later on, and they're more likely to be retained in those fields and be successful in those fields. After our very first year, all the kids across the board all wanted to be, now want to go into the sciences or be an engineer, and they're really enthused about learning 
uh, more about uh, algebra and things so they can work on their programs and add variables. And the idea is to get it to where a high school will be embarrassed if they don't have a robotics team. That just like if they have a football team or a soccer team or any other kind of team, you need to have robotics. What you'll find is that all of the people involved are passionate about inspiring children and working with children and really enabling these children to go out and change the world and make it a better place for everyone. And that's what makes the program work.